This is what you need to know about the alpha theory, dogs and men. Nah. We're fine. Many years ago, a researcher named David Mitch published his book about his research on wolves in Yellowstone Park. In the book, he used the term alpha that since then is being used all the times but all kinds of trainers and basically is an excuse to treat dogs in a specific way. But there are two problems. One is that dogs are not wolves. Two is that in fact that study was not true even for wolves. Now you see there's a problem here because wolves don't really have an alpha. The problem was that he did his study on captive wolves that were kept in a very small area unlike wolves in nature. You don't believe me? Hear it from Dr. Meech himself. Uh, the term alpha is, um, isn't really accurate when uh, describing most of the um, leaders of, of wolf packs uh, because uh, it implies, the term implies uh, that uh, the wolves fought and um, competed strongly to get to the top of the pack. Now in nature, a wolf pack is a father, a mother, and one or two generations of pups. When those pups get older, they would just win the pack and will try to find a way to form their own new thing. Now, think about yourself, although it's not a good comparison. Are you trying to be an alpha over your father or over your mother? No, of course you're not. And although wolves are not people or dogs, they also don't try to become the alpha over their parents. Oh, by the way, Wolves also don't try to punish each other to teach them what is allowed and what's not allowed. Many times the parents will let their pups eat first, so saying that you have to be the alpha, that you have to, do to be the dominant, that you have to do everything before your dog, not correct, even if you're basing yourself on wolves' behavior. And it doesn't end there, because dogs are not wolves. And why is it important? I mean, look at this thing. Definitely not a wolf, right? Neither this one. Dogs are actually a lot better at understanding us, people. So we can communicate with them so much better than we can communicate with wolves. So technically, even if it was true that dogs are like wolves, and even if it was true that dogs have a pet, and have a pack order and have an alpha like wolves do although they don't even then we know that because dogs communicate so much better with people and know even how to read our body language our facial expression they understand what pointing means while wolves don't all of these things make the alpha theory obsolete why? Because it's much easier to communicate with dogs. So, if you're still following a trainer who uses the term alpha or telling it to be dominant over your dog, you should probably find a different trainer. If you want to check out a video on how to find the best trainer, check out this video. <laughs>